Electro Refining of Copper by Tyler MacDonald. Introduction. Copper Uses. Copper is one of the world's most common materials, being the 25th most abundant element in the Earth's crust. It is widely used by humans in many of our everyday items and materials. Cars use copper in wire harnesses, motors, radiators, and as an alloys in the aluminum of engine blocks. The average car has about 44 to 100 pounds of copper. Copper is vital for wires and connectors in all electronics, like phones and computers. It is very efficient in conducting heat and electricity. Jewelry and currency also require copper, as do some musical instruments like trumpets, trombones, and horns. These items use brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, and also bronze, an alloy of copper and tin. It is copper's ability to mold with other metals, bend and shape, and conductor that makes it a highly useful in so many of our everyday lives. Impure Copper When copper is mined, known as blister copper, it is only about 98-99% to pure. It can contain other metals such as iron, gold, and silver. With these impurities restricting the flow of electrons, copper is a poor conductor of electricity. Impure copper couldn't be used for many of the items already listed because it wouldn't be efficient enough. Pure copper is required for it to be the super metal used in all of our essential items. Electro Refining In order to make copper pure, it undergoes a process called electro refining. Electro refining has a capability to make copper 99.95% pure. A simple definition of this process is the act of purifying impure copper through electrolysis. Later in the presentation, I will go more in depth of an explanation. History of electro refining. Electro refining has been around for hundreds of years. It was first demonstrated in 1847 by the Duke of Luchtenberg, Maximilian, and later patented by James Elkington in 1865. Elkington helped build the first electro refining plant in 1870 in Pembrey, Wales. Since then, electro refining has improved and evolved into a very efficient process, able to produce pure copper quickly and on a much larger scale. Impacts Without the electro refining of copper, we wouldn't have the modern conveniences that we have today, such as HGTVs, medical treatments, air conditioners, smartphones, or electric cars. Pure copper is essential in all of these. Science Diagram this diagram is labeled, and you can see the components of the process of electro-refining copper. The anode is made out of impure copper, and it is positive. The cathode is made out of pure copper, and it is negative. Both are an electrolytic solution of copper sulfate and sulfuric acid. When a current is applied via the battery, positively charged copper ions will leave the anode and move towards the cathode. At the anode, copper is oxidized. The reaction is copper solid to copper 2 plus aqueous and two electrons. These copper ions migrate to the cathode. At the cathode, copper ions are reduced. The reaction is copper 2 plus aqueous plus two electrons is copper solid. This solid copper is deposited at the cathode. The concentration of copper ions in the electrolyte remains constant. For every copper ion produced at the anode, a copper ion is reduced to metallic copper at the cathode. Silver and gold, some of the impurities contained in the anode, are weaker reductants than copper and will not be oxidized at the anode. They will become slime or mud at the bottom of the tank. History. Electro refining of copper began over 100 years ago and the process has evolved significantly over time due to advancements in the field. Newer technology and machines have improved the efficiency and effectiveness of the purifying process. Extraction. In order to extract copper from the ore chalcopyrite, there are many steps involved. First, the ore is heated strongly with silicon dioxide with oxygen in a furnace. The copper 2 ions in the chalcopyrite are then reduced to copper 1 sulfide, which is later reduced further into copper metal. The iron in the chalcopyrite is converted into iron 2 slag, which is then removed. The majority of the sulfur in the chalcopyrite turns to sulfur dioxide gas. To reach the end product, blister copper, the copper 1 sulfide needs to be blasted with air. The reactions are listed here. In this reaction, copper and oxygen are reduced, and three of the four sulfurs on the left side have been oxidized. The sulfide ions are acting as the reducing agent. To the second reaction, both copper and oxygen have been reduced and the sulfur has been oxidized. The reducing agent is a sulfur ion in the copper 1 sulfide. Impurities. Any metal in the impure anode that is below copper in the electrochemical series, also known as the reactivity series, will not go into the solution as ions. Rather, it will stay as a metal and fall to the bottom of the cell as anode sludge or slime. Technology Copper uses 
Copper is used in a variety of technological components, such as power cables and wires. When an electric field is applied to a copper wire, the conduction of electrons accelerates in the direction of the electropositive end, creating a current. Copper has to be pure in order to conduct electricity efficiently, which is why we need electro-refining in order to make our technology effective. Factories Electro-refining copper factories have been around since 1870, and the original process has greatly improved. With the demand of pure copper rising to keep up with new technology, housing, demands, and more electric cars, the factories have needed to improve the efficiency of the machinery. Here are a few new machines that have made the electro-refining process more efficient. Wireless charging. This is a diagram of a simple wireless charger. A magnetic loop antenna, which is the copper coil, is used to create an oscillating magnetic field. This can create a current in one or more receiver antennas. If the appropriate capacitance is added so that the loops resonate at the same frequency, the amount of induced current in the receivers increases. It allows power transmission at greater distances between transmitter and receiver. The coil size and quantity will affect the distance of power transfer. The bigger the coil or the more coils there are, the greater distance a charge can travel. Future. Technology improves at a staggering rate nowadays, and with our increase in population, the demand for pure copper has become overwhelming. In order to keep up, new technology needs to be invented or improved in order to increase the output and speed of the electro-refining copper process. Society. World. Our entire world is impacted by copper. The process of electro-refining employs over 1 million people and makes the economy over $144 billion globally. Even our bodies need copper in order to absorb iron and make energy. As a society, we rely heavily on copper, but more specifically, pure copper. Uses. As a society, we wouldn't be able to function without pure copper. It is used in so many things that allow us to survive and live in luxury. Imagine no heat in your house or no cars to drive. Copper is even used in medical treatments, such as those used to treat Alzheimer's disease, acne, tooth plaque, and copper deficiency. We need copper to thrive as a society, but more importantly, we need it to survive. Demand. The demand for pure copper is estimated to be double what it is now by the year 2035. As our population grows, so does our need for more phones, cars, and houses. Copper is essential in all of these. Since electrorefining is the most common way to purify copper, there is no doubt that this process is essential to our society. Environment. Copper use. Without pure copper, we wouldn't have many of the inventions that were dedicated to the sustainability of our environment. Wind turbines, solar panels, and electric cars are just a few inventions that have a positive impact on our environment. Without pure copper, these wouldn't be possible. Wind turbines. There are about 4.7 tons of copper in just a 3 megawatt wind turbine. 53% of this copper is used in cable and wiring, 24% in turbine power and generation, 4% in transformers, and 19% in turbine transformers. As you can see in this diagram of the inside of the wind turbine, the spins generator has magnets spinning past copper wire coils that generate energy. Solar panels. There are about 5.5 tons of copper per megawatt in solar power systems. It is used to heat exchangers, to transfer solar energy to heat water or air in heating systems, wiring for conducting electricity and cabling, to transmit electrical power or signals. New tech. The demands of pure copper has increased over the years, and we as a society need to be conscious of our impact on the environment. This has led to new inventions and cleaner ways to purify copper through electro-refining. Questions. Question 1. Where does copper come from? Copper metal occurs naturally. The greatest source is in minerals such as chalcopyrite and bornite. Question 2. How long does electro-refining take? In factories, it takes about 16 to 17 days for each batch of cathodes to have enough copper on them to be stripped. Fun facts. Here are some fun facts about copper. Thank you for watching my presentation on electro-refining copper.